everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to Today I Feel Like. I am back in the building and it looks like we have a haul. That's right, we've gotten a few packages in and it looks like we have a haul. So big ups to my haul family out there. Shout out to all of you. All right, let's get this thing crack a lacking. Let me give a big shout out to Nice to Nasty in the building. We have Daniel Berry Sports highlights in the uh, in the building, and uh, looks like there's a few other people in there watching that haven't commented. So drop me a comment if you want to shout out and hit those uh, hit those thumbs up so I get those likes out there and the YouTube algorithm pushes me out to the to the universe and more people can find me and the channel. So thank you so much, everyone. All right, let's get this thing cracking. Let's do this one here. Let's get this one here first and uh, and see what we have. And uh, most of you know I like to get these bags open first because they're fairly easy to open up. So um, let me see. Let me see what we have. Oh, wait. Did I get it? Some of these bags are easy to open. <laughs> Some of them are not. But I think this one's not going to be too bad. All right. Let's see what we have. Let's see what we have. All right, looks like, oh, this is the Sea Joy Strong Shaver 5-in-1 Grooming Kit. All right, it says 90 minutes of shaving, seven shave heads, three speed regu uh, regulation, IPX7 waterproof, USB charging, and an LCD display. So check that out right there. Nice. That's a lot of heads. That's what, uh, what is that, seven heads they said? That is, that is a lot of heads. So uh, yeah, if you're shaving, if you if you can use an electric shaver, not everybody can use an electric shaver. Some people have problems with like razor bumps and stuff, and they have trouble with them. But if you can use an electric shaver, generally, if you have a shaver with these sort of circular heads, the more heads usually are means it's going to be a little bit better. You're going to get a little bit better um, coverage, so it's going to pick up the the small areas in between that you might have missed with one that only had you know, two or three heads. Also, you can probably cover more ground a little bit faster, so yeah. All right, let's, um, you know what, let's see if, uh, there is a barcode, let's see if this thing will show up on um, on Amazon right quick, and if it is, then I can show you, I can show you where, you know, where you can get it, and how much it's gonna cost, and all that goodness there. So let's see if it shows up. I don't know, I'm scanning, but nothing's showing up right quick. Nothing, all right, let me just, I may have to do a search, oh, wait a minute. There it is. There it is. All right. Oh yeah, this thing's not too expensive. I think you guys might like what you see on here. Let me see if I can uh let me see if I can pull this in right quick. And um from Amazon, let's see where'd my Amazon page go? Here we go. Let me open that up. And let me see. Let me get that open. All right, there we go. Let me bring you guys in. And here it is right here. We have the uh, the Sea Joy head shaver. Uh, oh, this is a head shaver. I was thinking this just was a regular shaver. Did I say head shaver earlier? I don't think I did because it just says strong shaver grooming kit. This is a head shaver for uh, for bald men. All right, so you can get your head shaving on. It says head shaver for bald men, electric razor for five-in-one multifunctional head, uh, electric head shaver, bald clippers, for uh, for men wet and dry. Now there are some women out there that go bald, fellas. You know, so I can't. You can't just call it just for men. Although I can say if they, it's their product. If they designed it for men, they designed it for men. So you know, if ladies decide to use it, then that's just on them. But so here we have it says uh, it says electric head shaver, bald clippers for men, wet dry, waterproof, 7D rotary uh, shaver grooming kit. Uh, rechargeable with LCD display so yeah this thing looks like it's gonna be pretty cool here so we can see what that what that's going to look like uh, close up with those heads um, you're gonna get a couple of uh, looks like you're getting a couple of attachments there you're gonna have it looks like a regular clipper attachment that's kind of cool with some guards on there and you know the nice thing about this with these uh, with this clipper right here at the guards if you have long hair and you need to cut your hair down before you get started shaving you can get it. You can get that done with a uh, by putting a head like this on there, and then and then getting the hair cut down so that you can then cut it and uh, shave it with these clip uh, with the clippers here. So, but you're gonna get a little brush to clean the uh, to clean the heads. It looks like oh, they even have a uh, a nose clipper. Look at that. They really do give you quite a bit with this. 
Um, I'm not sure what that brush is. That brush may be to like sort of like uh, maybe like one of those brushes that scape, that kind of rubs the the dry skin off your head. So yeah, um, let's see here. We can see it shows uh, says uh, 40 floating and head uh, and seven shave seven floating and seven shaver heads. So you can see before and after what it's going to look like. Has a double track close cutter. 360 degree floating shaver, self sharpening blades. That that's nice. Self sharpening blades. That's dope. All right, you can see it says product details. You can see there it's gonna have that that USB C port on the bottom so that you can charge this thing up. So, um, and then there you go. You can see it's gonna be wet or dry, so you can actually use this. Um, you can use this with shaving cream. You probably can use it in the shower if you if you happen to be a shower shaver. So. Um, and then it has the LCD display. It's going to show you the RPMs and how much uh, power is left on there. So it looks like maybe you can turn the RPMs up. So you can see right there it says 65 RPMs. I imagine maybe you can turn it up or down. It does say three adjustable speeds. So there you go. And you have remaining energy and charger uh, charging reminder there. So that's really nice. Okay. Um, it says five and one functional there. So you can see there you can... Um, you can use the uh, you can put the attachment on there, and I guess you can give yourself a little bit of a fade if you want to. Um, I guess I don't know what that is. Maybe that's like an exfoliating sort of brush, and then you have the uh, then you have the shaving cream brush on there so that you can get that going, and you have the head shaver on there. So you're gonna get all of this right there. That's nice. And then you can clean. You know, you can get your nose hairs uh, trimmed up too. You know, as you get older, you start getting these nose hairs that get all long and whatnot. I know I can attest to that personally. It's annoying. So. <laughs> Anyways, there you go. That's everything that's in the box. But we're just not going to take their word for it. We're going to open this bad boy up and see what we have in the box here. So, um, yeah. All right, let's see. Guards. There's our guards right there. We're going to get a USB-A to USB-C uh, charging cable there. And then, uh, and then here is everything else that comes inside with it. So we're going to get the instruction manual if you need that there. Um, we're going to get the, um, the shaving cream brush on here, which is nice. And this has little holes on there. If you can see that, that's really, really nice because once you, um, once you rinse off the shaving cream and uh, you put this back on, you want those holes so that you get some ventilation and it dries and doesn't get all moldy and stuff. So that's really nice. Um, here is where we have the attachment for the nose clippers and then the attachment that's gonna that you can use to, to shave your head or, or, or fade up your head if you wanted to with the guards and then this yeah this is all yeah sort of like a rubbery sort of feel so this is gonna be like maybe so you can like exfoliate your face or something so and then here we have the actual uh, oop, knocking stuff off and then here is the actual shaver and uh, it does have a little guard on there, which I just knocked off, but you can put that right there. And then here are the seven heads. And you may, see, I don't know if you can see that, but see if I can get that in there. But these things are sort of adjusting. So you can move, so as you move it across your face, it's gonna move and adjust with your face. So um, yeah, let's see, I think this just, let's see how this thing comes out. Oh yeah, you just slide it out right there and it pops right on out. And you can pop it right back in and it locks into place. And then you have your power button right here, so you can hit that. And, oh yeah, look at that. Turns right on, it's at 100%, let's see. Oh yeah, I feel it, you can probably hear it, probably hear it cutting. Now I'm gonna have to go shave for real so I don't have a crazy looking, uh, you know, a <laughs> crazy looking uh, a you know, patch on my face right there, so. <laughs> It's probably not the best idea to do that right now. Usually when you get new stuff like this, it's best to usually clean it <laughs> just so that um, so that you have a nice clean package before you get the, you know, before you use it. Let's see, how does this thing go in here? Uh, <laughs> I think it goes this way. There we go. All right, have it in there. All right, let's get this back in the box. But um, yeah, this thing looks like it's going to be pretty nice. I like the fact that this thing has all those attachments that work with it. So that, um, you know, because right now I have a different head shaver, but I end up having like three different clippers. I have like a set of clippers I use if my hair is really long and I have to cut it down, I cut with that. 
I have another pair of clippers that I use if my hair is sort of just medium long, I can use that to sort of shave and get it down to a manageable level and then I shave from that point. But this, it looks like you're gonna get all those attachments in the box with this set of clippers, with this, with this head shaver, so that you can trim your hair up, you can do your nose, you can uh, bring down your hair if it's long, or you can use the guards to fade it up. You can do all kinds of stuff. So yeah, nice, big ups to C-Joy on that. And again, this thing is, um, this thing is right here. It's, it's going to be $36.99. There is a $10 off coupon, so you can get this for about, that's that $360 off. So you can get this for a little about a little over $30, like $32, bucks, something like that. So $32, $33. So it's not going to be too expensive for you. So, yeah. All right. Shout out to CJoy in the building with that. All right. Let's see who else has come through the spot here. It looks like we have uh, L. Robinson. Hi from Chicago. Shout out to Chi Town. I see you. All right. Big ups to L. Robinson. We have Donald D. Nice in the house. It says Donald D. Nice from Twitch. Big ups. We have we have our uh, our famous wonderful Lynn Hodges in the house. It says hey y'all. Sadly I can't stay. Got class at at this time. Uh, have a good evening. Hope to catch you next time. All right. Shout out to you if you're gone already. Big ups. Thanks for dropping through. And uh ah. Uh, Kai too technical, our uh, our our resident expert on, on uh, smartphones right there. If you guys have not gone to her channel to check out her uh, her Pixel Fold uh, videos, you need to go check them out. She's putting you up on game on that Pixel Fold life. So there you go. Okay, let's uh, let's get this bag open. See what we have in here. See what we have. And let's see. This is going to be. It says same top, oh, same top chest mount harness. Yes, I know exactly what this is. Oops, I'm dropping stuff all over the place. This is gonna be a GoPro mount for, um, this is gonna be a GoPro mount for your, like a chesty sort of. It's like a, it's like their version of the chesty. And let me see if I can bring this up. So uh, the good thing about this one is though, it's this is an upgraded model. They put out another one, but this is an upgraded model. And it's like half the price of the chesty from GoPro. So, um, let me see if I can uh, let me see if I can pull it up the listing up for you, so I can show you here. And there we go. And let me get this up. And here we go. Let me bring you on in. And this is it right here. This is the same top chest mount harness chesty strap compatible with the GoPro Hero 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. So there you go. It's, it even might be compatible with the old ones, but I don't know. They're they're claiming up to you know from five all the way to eleven, so that's a lot of generations. So, but it's seventeen ninety nine or eighteen dollars, and there's a three dollar off coupon, so you can get this for about fifteen bucks. And the the GoPro version of this is like thirty five, forty dollars, something like that. It's a bit more, so you're gonna save yourself a considerable amount of money by buying these the uh, same top one. And you can see there how it mounts up. It's a it's a harness that goes. Um, you you put it, your arms and this goes over your shoulders there. This is gonna wrap around your chest and then this clicks to um, it clicks there closed and then you have your mount for your GoPro right there and um, and you can see there it looks like you're gonna get this little uh, quick release mount on there and a thumb nut to lock things in. So we can see right there it says convenient and stable it says specifically designed for a quick release buckle and stable platform so you can get this on and off rel relatively quickly if you want to or need to um, it says comfortable padded breathable and lightweight materials um, it says compatible with most uh, most gopro and most action cameras so even though it says gopro it's going to work with other cameras as well as long as you have that uh, sort of gopro finger mount uh, system that they use um, you can see there um, sort of what it's going to look like, but we're going to take this out of the box. And uh, yeah, that's what it looks like when it's mounted onto you. So this thing is really kind of cool because if you're out riding your bike or a skateboard or a scooter or you're, you're driving or you're just climbing or doing anything that you want to do and you want to have a hands-free sort of POV, um, you know, um, a POV sort of look, it's going to give you that and... and work out pretty nicely there so but you can see how it sits there and you you can see the straps adjust so if you want to adjust this to make it tighter or looser or bring it up or down you should be able to do that with those straps there so yeah so all right big ups to same joy and again that's only going to run you about 15 bucks so but let's get this out of the box let's see what this thing is um let's see what this thing is going to co cost or cost what it's going to cost let's see what it's going to look like here and 
There we go. Pretty nice, simple presentation. We're gonna get the uh, the attachments there, and then we're gonna have a. It looks like a. It looks like a quick user manual, and yeah, so we're gonna get a quick user manual telling you how to use it there, and I don't know if there's any warranty information or anything on here. It looks like there's some information for customer service and contacts and stuff there. So yeah, so I guess if you get this and you have any issues, there's some contact information on there if you need to reach out to them in case something is missing or or, or not perfect when you get it. So um, here are going to be the mounts that you have. So you're gonna get the thumb nut here and the quick release uh, sort of mount there that's gonna fit right in there. So this part just fits, just slides right let's see if we can get this going oops hold on a second uh let's see is it going this way ah, i always get these parts these ones mixed up and how they go in uh maybe i need to take this thing off yeah i think i needed to take that off there we go this thing lifts up right there's a little plastic flap right there so that it, it kind of holds it in place and then you can and then you can lock it back down right there once you have it in and that's how it is. Your camera is mounted right on there. I can't show you right now because I don't have my GoPro on the table here, but let me uh, lift that up. And now, oop, squeeze that and get that to come off there. So, and we already saw how this mounts onto your body right there. And the great thing is you can mount this with your GoPro facing up or facing down. And if you have some, um, if you have some uh, GoPro extensions, you can actually get an extension so that your camera is out a little bit further. So if you wanna move your camera out further. I've seen some people with chesties and other stuff where they have like extension poles mounted out in front of them and they have the camera pointed back at them so they can see themselves in. It's kinda of cool, it's kind of a cool look, so yeah. All right, shout out, to, uh, shout out to Same Joy on that. If you guys have not heard of them, check them out. They make not just uh, they make not just GoPro uh, gear, but they make uh, all kinds of great stuff. I mean, not just the chesty, but they make all kinds of, of great, um, great products here. So let's see if we can go to their, uh, let's see if we can go to their store here. Oop, let's hit the same top brand. And you can see there you're gonna get stuff. They have like uh, hand grips, the chesty harness. They have like this flexible arm here. I forgot this gooseneck arm. Um, this one is like a, a quick a quick mount there. Um, they're gonna have all kinds of great stuff that you can use. They have the suction cup mounts that you can put in, the, in your uh, windshield or in your car. So um, they have this one here, the, uh, the motorcycle or bike or, uh, or bike pole uh, mount on there. They have the housing case for the, uh, for the GoPros. They have all kinds of uh, uh, 3M stickers. Uh, mounts on there that you can use. They have all kinds of stuff, a head strap. They just, they, they have a lot of different GoPro accessories that you can use. They have accessories for the, uh, for the smaller GoPros. They just, they really have a lot that you can use and get out with. If you, if you're trying to get your GoPro on and not have to do it at some, um, at some ridiculous price point, they'll offer you a way that you can get it done and still have fun and still save some money so that you don't have to spend, you know, all the brand name prices. So yeah, shout out to shout out to Same Top. Check them out. All right, let's keep it pushing. Let's keep it pushing. Let's see. Let's open this thing up. I have no idea what this thing is, but it looks like it might take a little effort to get into. So you guys got to work with me on this one. Let's see if we can get into it. So. This usually when I see stuff like this, it's because it's coming straight from like the. Uh, it's usually coming like straight from the uh, the brand. It usually in China or some other country when it's when it's packaged up like this because they're trying to make sure that it doesn't get, you know, opened up during shipping. And oh, okay, all right. This is from. Uh, looks like it's from Bob and Brad. Which I'm surprised. I guess they sent it direct because Bob and Brad sells all their stuff on Amazon too. So, uh, but this is the Bob and Brad eye massager. So this is it says the Eye Oasis Two. So this is the second version of their eye massager. I I have tried one of them. I think I might have reviewed one of them. I'm not sure of their uh, eye massagers. I don't know if there is a I don't know if there's a barcode on here, but yeah, I don't see one. All right, so we'll have to look them up. We'll we'll check out the. Uh, Let's go in together and we'll search. Uh, let's see, let's go in and search for, um, let's see, let's go with Bob and Brad. 
eye massager. We'll type in Oasis. Let's see. Uh, oh, it's it's I Oasis. I O Oasis two. All right. Let's see if that comes up. And I probably should have just typed in eye massager. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's go to the, um, let's see, let's shop Bob and Brad. Let's just go to their site and we'll type in massagers. We'll see if we can find, uh, here we go, eye massager. All right. And there we go, the eye oasis too. Oh, look at that, currently unavailable. This might be a pre-release model. So, uh, but let's click on it and see. It's either pre-release or they're just really, uh, you know, they're just really uh, popular right now. So it says this is the, uh, I Oasis 2 heated eye massager for migraines and compression and music rechargeable uh, smart eye mask massager, uh, reduce eye strain, dry eye, improve sleep, gifts for men and for women. So, um, yeah, and we'll take a look here. You can see there, you, that's how you put it on. That's how you wear it, excuse me. And you can see there it says developed by physical therapists, Bob and Brad, trusted by over 5 million, 5 million followers. It has targeted acupoint massage. Um, it says receive, um, it says, uh, it says receive ocular muscle, uh, relieves ocular muscle, uh, muscle tension, improves eye blood circulation, eye, uh, ease eye pain and headaches, relieve, uh, relieves, uh, dry eye strain and dry eye, reduce dark, uh, circles and eye bags. And you can see there, it says experience like a professional masseuse. So there you go. Uh, built, uh, easy to use with physical buttons. That's really nice. Some of these things don't have physical buttons. They have like little touch things that are, and they're sort of very touchy and difficult to deal with at times. Um, it says immersive music, uh, experience, uh, smart mask for sleep, focus and stress there. And yeah, so, and it's, it comes, it looks like a little pouch so that you can easily uh, pack it up and take it with you. So, um, yeah. All right. Let's uh, let's do this. Let's get this thing out of the package because I want to see what it looks like. I want to see if it's any different than um, if it's any different than the old one here. So let's get this out. Let's see, looks like we're gonna get. Uh, it looks like you're gonna have all of your instruction manuals and all that good stuff in there. And then it looks like it's gonna come in the pouch like we saw. So there you go, little pouchy pouch. Always like to see that. Um, and then here is the, uh, here is the massager right there. Look at that. Oh, we also get a charging cable in here as well. So yeah, nice. All right. And yeah. Okay. And you just put this on. Let's see. Oh yeah, there we go there. So we have the physical buttons there. You can turn that on and we will probably have to push it for me. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Did you hear that? Hold on. Let me turn that off a second. Let me see if you can, let me uh, do it on. Let me see if you guys can hear that. Let me turn it on. Bob and Brad eye massager is on. Air pressure plus heat plus music. There you go. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And you can change, it looks like you can change the heat, the, uh, the volume, and it looks like the sensitivity or mode. Maybe they have different modes in there too, so. Very, very cool. So now again, before I usually put stuff like this on my eye, I like to, I like to clean it just cause I don't, you know, sometimes stuff comes from these factories. Oops, I think I turned it on again. Let me turn this thing off. So sometimes, you know, these things come from factories and most of the time they're fine, but sometimes, you know, they can have a little bit of a, a factory smell to them. And so, um, so yeah. I can tell you one thing though, that little, uh, the buttons on here are still very, very sensitive. I've accidentally pushed it a couple times already. So, All right. but this pouch, very nice. I like it. Okay, let's set that in there. Oh, you know what? I'm curious to see what the cable is. I don't know if it's gonna be a USB-C or something else. Like the old one I had, I think it was like a micro USB, which was kind of a pain. Ah, USB-C, big ups to them. I like USB-C everything. Let's just go USB-C everything. It just makes life so much easier. So until they come up with a better standard, I think USB everything is the way to go. All right, shout out to Bob and Brad. And again, you can get this thing. Hold on, let me, let me bring it back open. Um, oh, it right, it shows unavailable right here. So I can't really get you a price on it yet. So um, I'll see if maybe in the future, um, 
if in the future we'll be able to get a price for you. But you can get it from the uh, from the Bob and Brad um, the Bob and Brad store on Amazon if you're on Amazon. So all right, let's keep it going, keep it going. Let's see, let's see. Uh, let's go with this box. Actually, let's go. Yeah, let's go with this box. Let's go with this one here, and and see what we have. See what we have. I'm curious about you guys. What are you guys up to this summer? Do you have any plans or anything? Do you have any uh, thing exciting happening that's going on with travel or, or school or work or anything? New kids, new grandkids, anything exciting? Drop me a comment. Let me know. All right. This is, oh, this is the, the Noe Cam, I believe. It's a Noe Cam Pro. It's a 2K security camera with spotlight. And it works with, hey, Google. So... Oop, my Google did. I should I shouldn't have said that. But uh, <laughs> that is the Noe cam right there. And let me see if I can scan this thing so I could uh, so I could show you the uh, the info about it here. So let me see. Let me grab that. Let me scan that. And there it is. All right. Let me bring this open and check this thing out. And let's see, go back to my Amazon, and there it is right there. Here it is. Oh, look at that. This thing is showing, <coughs> excuse me. This thing is showing that it's 50% uh, off right now. It's normally $159 or $160, $159.99. It's showing that it's $79.99. So it's 50% uh, off right now. But this is the Noe Pro Cam 2K security camera, wireless, outdoor, battery-powered, security camera with spotlight, uh, color night vision, dual band, five gig and 2.4 gig Wi-Fi surveillance camera works with Alexa cloud and SD. So um, you should be able to, um, you should be able to uh, set this up outside and it looks like it'll be battery powered or, and, um, and then you should be able to just use it and upload it directly to the cloud if you're near Wi-Fi, or you can have it saved to a uh, to an SD card, I believe, so that um, you have the footage that way. You might be able to do both, which would be kind of dope. So, uh, but this is what it looks like there, and there you go. You can it says 2K resolution, clearly sees uh, anywhere, and it says there. It looks like there's an app so that you can actually see what's going on, and then you can. Uh, it looks like on the app, looks like there's little download symbols. So you can actually download these right to your device. So if anything happens, you can just go ahead and save the, the file immediately. So, and there you go. It says night vision with, uh, it says with embedded, I think they meant embedded spotlight, but I think they misspelled it there. So, but there's a spotlight there, as you can see. So it'll shine down around the area where it's going to be. So you can get, it, get the area lit up a bit. And then it says, um, Oh, there's two-way audio. It says uh, communicate anytime. So lunch is ready. So if you're if you have it set up outside somewhere and your kids are playing or something, you can say, "Hey, come inside. Lunch is ready." And they can hear you and then they can respond as well. So um, yeah, it says power up with uh, with a solar panel. Panel so worry free for charging. That's really nice. So because it is battery operated, that's nice that you can have the solar have the solar panels on there. So you never really have to worry about uh, having it plugged in and charging. And that really you know, frees you up to allow you to put this in different places where you may not normally be able to put them. So, yeah. So there we go. Seventy nine ninety nine. Big ups to Noe. Let me uh, let me get this thing open. Let's check this out and see what it looks like. So one thing I do say, I really like this sort of plain box, this plain package. I know I say it all the time, but I really like it when companies put their money in the product and not into uh, not into the packaging so much. I don't know how this thing opens up. Oh. Trying to open it up the wrong way. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see, let's see here. All right. There we go. We see it says, watch everywhere from anywhere. Um, it says, hello, welcome to the Noe family. There we go. And we are going to get a, uh, a Noe Cam Pro inside. So we're going to get the instruction manual. It says, uh, it says, We've got our eye on you. You're welcome. <laughs> and a couple stickers there, so you can have that. It says, uh, oh, we have another sticker here. It says protected by Noe, so you can put this out on the door or the window or something, so you can let people know that there is security cameras there, so they can uh, think twice before they come and try and do something stupid. And uh, let's let's get the camera out. Let's get the camera out and take a look. So 
Look at this. Look at that. It's, it looks like a little brick. It looks like a um, it looks like a GAN charger. That's what it looks like. Um, but here it says um, it says always be there on there. And then we lift that up, and this is where the lens is. So there you go. And you can just uh, set this right on up, and then get this going. And then on the back here. It looks like this is going to be a little mount. It's a quarter 20 thread mount in there so we can mount this up. And then this, um, I believe, let's see what this is. It feels like a little plug. Oh yeah, this is a little plug. And that is, it looks like a little charging port right there so you can plug in and charge. It looks like a micro USB port. That's odd if it, uh, if it is and not USB-C. But all right, let's stick this back on there. And let's see what else we have. It looks like we're going to get this thing. I think this is sort of like a... I think this might be like a like a base thing there. Oh yeah, so this is where you can plug it in at. So I guess you can plug this um, you can plug this part into power, and then right here is a uh, a port. I don't know if you can see that. It's an Ethernet port in there, so that you can actually uh, get this thing um, relayed to your Wi-Fi. So I think the way this works is this this part will connect to your uh, oh on the side here also there's an SD card slot. So it looks like this part is going to connect wirelessly to the Noe cam, and then the um, and then you'll be able to uh, transfer this. You'll be able to save onto the hard drive if you want uh, to the SD card, or you can transmit it wirelessly to the cloud, or you can you know view it on your app and then save the files on your app as well. So, yeah. All right. Let's see. Let's see what else we have in here. Looks like we're probably going to get some mounting stuff on here. Let's see if we can figure out how to open the box. Be smarter than the packaging. <laughs> All right. Oh, yep. There we go. So we have a little mount there. Um, we have uh, we have some screws in here, and then we have a network cable here. It looks like a it looks like a uh, like an Ethernet cable. And then we have a micro USB to a USB A to micro USB cable so that we can plug this in. So nice. All right. Very good. That, that's looking pretty good. I like it. I like it. I um I'll have to I may have to offer this to my to my wife to see if she wants to uh, use it because um she has been talking about maybe putting something in at her father's house so that she can check on him when she's not there. So, And here's another little mount there, it looks like, as well. So I'm not sure what this is going to mount to, but this mount's on there as well. So, All right. Very good, very good. Shout out to Noe. Nice looking setup, too. I like it. I like it. Nice looking setup. All right, let's put everything back in. And again, you can get this for, um, you can get this for $79.99. So, you know, some of these cameras can be rather expensive and because this thing, and it's not like this is the cheapest one because this is normally 160 bucks, but they're showing it for, you know, half off right now. So if you needed to get one of these and put like two or three of them around your, uh, around your house or your apartment complex, or if you have a business or something, you could, you can grab a couple of these and really set it up on Wi-Fi and have it transmit to wherever you want it to and have like a whole setup for really an inexpensive package. So yeah. All right, big ups to them. All right, let's keep it going. Shout out to Flex in the house. I see you, big up says Flex3221 in the building. Says, what up, Hall family? Larry, how are you doing, brother? Sorry I'm late again. Man, you don't ever have to apologize. You come through and I appreciate you. All right, big ups and, uh, and definitely shout out to the Hall family out there. Let's see, it looks like we have five people in. So we have five people in and eight likes. I like it, there we go. All right. Let's see what we'll, let's see what else we have in here. Let's see. It's a big box and it's super light. Oh wow! Look at this. <laughs> look how small that is. Humongous box for that little thing right there. Amazon is Amazon. Sometimes is funny. So, all right. This is the the Borut. I believe it is the Borut V10 LED uh, flashlight. This is the the uh, the uh, model V10. And uh, let's see if I can get this scanned in for it. I was actually kind of, you know, excited to take a look at this little flashlight. Uh, let's see here. Oh yeah, there we go. It's about 23 bucks, something like that. But let me uh, let me see if I can show you right quick. Let me see if I can go back to my. Uh, let me see if I can go back to my browsing history. 
and pull it up for you. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see here. All right. So here we have it. This is the uh, the Borut or Boruit, if I pronounce. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly. But this is the V10 LED small powerful EDC flashlight with 360 nanometer UV uh, green, uh, green red green blue light, super bright uh, 1000 lumen USB-C uh, rechargeable powered mini pocket keychain flashlight with 14 modes, tail magnet, and beeping sound. Wow, this thing is, looks like it's going to be feature packed. And it shows that it is, uh, it's $23.99, but there is a 10% 10, uh, 10 off coupon. So you can get this, uh, that's going to be what, about $230 off, $240? So you'll get this for right around $21, something like that. Um, it looks like they also have a, uh, it looks like they have a black one as well. So you can get the black one or you can get the green one. So um, we can see there it says super bright and long range. So it's 1,000 lumens at 100 meters. Uh, it says multiple light source um, settings. So you can go green light, warm light, white light, red light, blue light, or strobe light. And it has 365 degree uh, nanometer UV light on there as well. So, And then you have the uh, 80 decibel beeping flash, uh, alarm flash. So it says when in danger or emergency, long press the side button. Immediately sounds a high decibel beeping sound uh, and red and blue lights. That's gonna Maybe that red and blue light simulates like a like a police or something, like a police uh, car uh, sirens. And you can see there, it's gonna fit on your keychain. It's very small, it looks like about the size of like a nine volt battery or something it looks like. And it'll fit on your keychain. It has that magnetic back right there. So if you're trying to, you know, use like friends like they show here, trying to access your, um, your fuse box or something when you have like a power outage, it's gonna work for that. Um, you can see there it says US, uh, USB-C smart charging. So you can get that going and yeah. All right, let's do this. Let's get this bad boy open. Let's take a look at it. I'm curious to see how this thing looks. And I already can tell it's nice and easy to open up. Thank you so much for making that easy, Borit. I believe if I'm pronouncing your company name right. And uh, we're going to get a uh, user manual. It's going to show you how to use this thing. So you have that. And look at that. Nice, simple packaging. I like that. Just very nice, very simple. Nothing, nothing over the top. Keep the pricing. You know, put all the money in the product and keep the price down. I'm digging it. All right. So there we go. We have the uh, USB-A to USB-C charging cable. And then here is the uh, here's the flashlight right there. You have the key ring on the back. And uh, you see there's, there's a little magnet right there. And the key ring is already sticking to the little magnet, which is kind of great. So, yeah, this thing is like, it is. It's like the size of maybe like a, a, maybe like a Zippo lighter or something. So it's very small. Now this one's actually not green. This one is actually clear, but maybe that's because they, maybe in the picture, like I was, you know, I was looking on my phone, maybe the picture is because they have the green light on on there. So let's see. You have the power, you have two power buttons or one power button and one, like, uh, I guess it's a lightning button. I guess it's maybe how you change the brightness. So let's see, you can push that. Oh yeah, there we go. Turns it on. Let me see if I push that. Okay, there we go. Now it's on. There we go. And it's, I see, do see a little green light right there. And if I push that, I'm not sure what that does if I push the lightning. Let me push it. Oh, wow, you can hear that. That, that startled me a little bit. Let's see. If, look at that. <laughs> there you go. It's a little, it's a little uh, thing to scare people away maybe. So, all right. And let's see if I push that and hold it. I don't know how to change the brightness. Let me see. I pushed it twice. Yeah, I'll have to, I'm going to have to read the instructions to see how to get this thing to actually work. But there, there's a little hook right here on the end, and that's going to be where you can put your key, your key ring through and then put this on your keychain. But um, yeah, it definitely, it has a little magnet on there. As you can see, it sticks to whatever you can that's, uh, that's metal there. So I can stick it onto my knife right there. <laughs> I don't know how... Uh, yeah, it's fairly strong. It's not super strong, but it's strong enough that if you wanted to stick this somewhere, it's going to actually stick. So, but that thing is really like if you hit that button again, let me just You can see that. That's pretty loud. So, all right, shout out to them. I like it. All right. Let's get this thing back in there. I may have to go and try that out and uh and get some um I may have to go try it out and see what I see if I can how do I change the brightness levels on there. 
So, but again, this thing is not very expensive at all for what you're gonna get. It's gonna be $23.99 and there is a $10, 10% uh, off coupon, excuse me, a 10% off coupon. So that, <coughs> excuse me, that'll drop a couple of dollars off of the, uh, the overall price for you there. So, all right, let's keep it pushing. We have two more here. We have two more. And uh, let's see here, let's see here. I have no idea what's in these. That's, what, that's what's been fun about this week. I really haven't known what was coming in this week. All this stuff is sort of a surprise to me. So the, uh, the one package I was kind of expecting never made it to me because apparently they sent it to the wrong state and, <laughs> and the package is getting, getting shipped back. So, oh, look at this again. Same thing. Look at, look at this big old box. And this is what they, and that's the small little package that they put in there. <laughs> oh man. All right. Let's see here. We have a wireless mic system here. All right. And I don't see any branding on here. So let's see if we scan it. If something comes up, if we can see what the brand is. And let's see. Let's, uh, hold on. Let me do this. Close Amazon, open them back up. Sometimes, you know, apps trip out. You just have to close them and open them. There we go. All right, let's see if this thing will scan. And it is not scanning. Oh, wait, there we go. I think something's, there we go. I think there we go. It came up. Okay. All right. All right, there it is. This is the the Jukono, the Jukunu. Uh, wireless mic system. Let me see if I can show you right quick. Shout out to Big Tim Windsor in the house showing up. I see you. Big ups. Part of the Hall family coming through. All right. Let's see. Let's go back here to my. Uh, let's go to my browsing history. Click that to open it up. And let's see. There we go. The Jukuno two-pack wireless lavalier microphone for iPhone, iPad with charging uh, with charging case. Plug and play, seven hours of battery, noise cancellation, uh, uh, mini clip-on microphone, wireless for interview, YouTube, vlog, live streaming, and ticky talky. <laughs> there we go. You can see what it's going to look like there. And uh, I'll open this thing up in a minute, but let me just show you here. So it is plug and play, so there's no Bluetooth or anything needed. No messy cables. It just plugs right in. Um, you can see it's going to have a 360 degree omnidirectional pickup pattern on there. So that's going to be kind of nice. Um, you can see there it says uh, rapid charging and you're going to have 30 hours of uh, long recording. So that's important. So it's going to have, it's going to take an hour and a half to charge. You're going to have seven hours, continuously you can record for seven hours and then you'll have 30 hours with the charging case. So, and it says it pairs automatically, so it picks up sound from two parties simultaneously. You're gonna have both those, uh, you're gonna have two channels or from the, you know, one for each mic there. And it says suitable for, for video recording and compatible with iPhone and iPad. So um, yeah, suitable for various scenarios. So there you go. All right, let's see if we can get this thing opened up. Oh, it's gonna be $29.99 too, so there you go. Um, all right, let's see if we can get this thing opened up. Now, it says it's suitable for the iPhone and iPad. I'm assuming that it's going to have, um, that it's going to be for US, um, excuse me, for lightning connected uh, iPads. So if you have a, if you have one of the lower end iPads or an older iPad that uses the lightning connector, that'll work for you. If you have one of the newer ones, like the iPad Airs, the iPad Pros, one of the newer uh, iPads, then you're gonna use a USB-C and you'll have to get a different version of this mic, so. Um, but here is the case and there are the, this is, there are the mics and the transmitters. So we have the, uh, we have two transmitters right there, one and two right there. So you can plug those in. And then right here is going to be your lightning connected, um, your lightning connected, uh, receiver. So now on the front here, you're going to have a, uh, you're going to have a microphone so that you don't need to plug in anything. It'll just automatically pick up. And when you plug this in, you just grab this, snap it right in on the bottom. And you can see there how, um, 
you can see there how small that profile is. I mean, it's really, really nice because if you're trying to record something with your phone and you want to make sure that you still have a nice small profile or if you're vlogging and you don't want to have a big microphone attached to, the, to your uh, camera or to you, you just simply plug this little bit in. You can clip this onto your shirt or to your, um, you know, or on the under, your undershirt or something and you're good to go. So, yeah. All right. And then once you're done with everything, you just simply slip it right back in here, plug it, you know, put those, put the uh, the two transmitters and the receiver back in, shut it up, and things will start to charge up. There's some indicator lights right on there that let you know how far along things go. And um, you have your user manual in here, so if you ever need to figure out how to do something, you have that. And um, and then we have some accessories in here. It looks like we are going to get a couple of USB, uh, a USB-C cable. So I don't know if this, let's see. Um, there is a USB-C charging port on the bottom. I don't know if there's any USB-C ports. Oh, there is, there's USB-C ports on the bottom of these. So they give you two USB-C um, cables. So in the event that you need to charge your, uh, you need to charge these and you don't have the case with you, it looks like you are gonna be able to plug in directly and charge them both. And they gave you cables so that you can charge them both at the same time, so. Very nice. All right. I like it. I like it. Very nice. And again, these are only going to be like 29 bucks. So if you're looking for an inexpensive uh, microphone solution, this may be the way to go so that you can get everything up and running. I know there's a lot of people out there that are that are starting off with YouTube or, or TikTok or, or whatever they're doing and they want to have better audio. And that's one of those things when people ask me like, hey, I want to start doing this. What camera should I buy? And usually the first thing I ask them is, what camera do you have? And then suggest that they improve their audio before they do anything else. Because people will watch bad video, they generally won't listen to bad audio. If they can't hear what's going on, they usually just click out. So, yeah. So, shout out. This is, uh, again, this is from, um, if I can get the name right, uh, Jukanu or, or Jukanu. Yeah, I think it's Jukanu. We'll just go with that. So, Jukanu. But again, $29.99 for, uh, for the kit. You're gonna get two transmitters, one receiver, and uh, that's gonna allow you to mic up two people at the same time, so it's kinda dope. All right, moving on. We have the last one here. And uh, shout out to Pedro in the building. I didn't see you come through there for a minute, so. Let's see, where is he at? All right, there we go. We have Pedro in the house says, Evening, Larry. Sorry, I'm late. Hey, no worries, man. No worries. Big ups to you. Shout out to uh, shout out to uh, to Big Tim Windsor in the house. I see you in the building. So, all right. Let's keep it going. We have one last one to get to get through here. And I think I hit something. I hope I didn't cut anything. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Oh, look at that. This is a, a solar panel to go along with the Noe cam. So we have the Noe solar, solar panel. So we did say that it was, uh, that it had that solar panel that you could use, but um, it looks like, you know, you have to get that separately, but it does look like they sent one along with it. So let's see if we can get this thing open and check it out there. So, <coughs> excuse me. All right, let's see if we can go in and uh, check out this Noe, uh, this Noe solar panel. That's kind of dope. You're gonna, they'll, if, you get the, if you get the whole kit, you'll be able to do everything that you need and you won't have to ever worry about really charging this thing up. So there we go. We have the, uh, the Noe solar panel charger for the Noe Pro Cam. It's weather resistant, IP65 waterproof, 360 adjustable mount so you can adjust this thing and rotate it any way you need to. It says, um, it says non-stop green charging, only compatible with the Noe Pro Cam, uh, two watts or six volts. It's $49.99, so look at that. So yeah, this is what it's gonna look like here. So you can see, you can screw that into the wall and then have it mounted up, and then you can uh, plug this into your Noe Cam and you're good to go. So you can see how you can have the Noe Cam right there plugged in and you never have to worry about battery power or any kind of power. You just simply let the sun charge you up and you're good to go. So it says power up your way so you can have that going. It says it's IP65 waterproof so you, can, uh, you don't have to worry about that. And you can see right here, they have it set up so it's like it's uh, 
the solar panels on this side and the camera's just right around the corner right there. So you can do something like that as well. So yeah, and it says adjustable 360 degree adjustable mount. Uh, it says green power for Noe cam. And yeah, this thing looks kind of cool. All right. All right. I wish I could mount stuff like this here and um, at my building, but I can't. So, all right, let me go ahead and uh, let me take this out and see. And um, I think I might have to try this out next time we go to the ranch. Maybe I'll see if I can uh, set it up or something. So looks like we're going to get a little, uh, looks like maybe a thank you card here or uh, user manuals. I think it's a user manual. And then there is the solar, this is the solar panel right here. And you'll see there is cable inside there wound up so that you can, uh, so not only can you uh, plug it in if it's close, but you can probably put this a little distance away if you need to. So maybe you want, maybe you have, um, maybe you want to point this, say, at like your garden, but you want to put the, but you want the solar panel just a little bit further away so it's access to, it has access to more sunlight. So you can put this wherever you want to put it and then have that cable stretched out so that you can reach your, uh, your camera. So, um, and then there is also a little box here. I'm not sure what's in here. Let's find out. Um, let's see, let's see. There we go. Oh, this is going to be, uh, this is going to be mounting, um, the mounting um, bracket and stuff there. So let's see here. Get that out. There we go. Well, staying in there. But this is the mounting bracket there. And then this part just screws right in there. You have some, um, it looks like you have some like wood screws or something so that you can get in there and really get this thing mounted up properly. So um, yeah, this thing's kind of cool. All right. Shout out to Noe on that. And uh, I don't know how I got this thing back in there. Apparently, I think I put it in there backwards or something. Let's see. There we go. All right. But yeah, this this one is gonna be this one's gonna be um, forty nine ninety nine. So it's not quite fifty percent off like the camera, but the but it still is seventeen percent off. So it's a little bit cheaper than you would normally get it. So if that's gonna be fifty bucks for uh, for the solar cam uh, for the solar panel. And then you have the um, and then you have the camera that's going to be seventy nine ninety nine, so eighty bucks. So for about a hundred and thirty bucks, you're going to be able to get yourself an, a really just independent security camera that you don't ever have to worry about powering on. You don't have to worry about running cables through your wall or having some sort of uh, professional come out or an electrician coming out to you know to get everything wired up. You don't have to do any of that. You just simply mount it on to whatever it is you want to mount it on to have that solar panel plugged in, you know, uh, hooked up and plugged into the camera so it charges and you're good to go. Pretty quick, pretty simple. So shout out to Noe. I like it. All right, you guys, that's it. That is it. I am up out of this piece. It is about uh, nine o'clock and I need to head out here shortly because I have to go to the airport and pick up my beloved and, uh, and I'm going to be up out of here. So I haven't seen her for a minute. So I'm looking forward to seeing her. So all right, you guys, thanks for coming through. Thanks for watching. Big shout out to Flex. Big shout out to Pedro. Big shout out to, uh, to Nice to Nasty. Big shout out to Big Tim. I see you in the house. Shout out to, uh, let's see who came through, who else came through. Shout out to L. Robinson if you're still in the house. Shout out to Big D. Nice. Shout out to Kai to Technico in the house with the dope Pixel Fold videos. Check her out. If you guys haven't seen her channel, check, let me see. Let me see. Hold on a minute. Let me see if I can go find her channel right quick. Let's see if I can find her channel because she definitely does some cool stuff on here. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's see. She should be saved onto my, um, onto my subscriptions. So let me see if I can find her. See if I can find her videos, her videos. Sometimes it's hard to find stuff. YouTube, sometimes, like, after you've watched stuff, they, like, bury it. They, like, bury stuff so you can't find them again. I'm just, like, trying to find it. So let me see. Let me see if I can, uh... Oh, there we go. There she is. Let me bring you in. And here is her channel right here. And you can check it out. She does tech, she does tech reviews, unboxings, all kinds of great stuff. Um... You know, you can see right there a couple of months ago, she had the OnePlus 10 Pro versus the LG V uh, V60 uh, speed test. She has uh, she has case reviews for the Pixel Fold because, you know, once you drop $1,800 on a new phone, you're going to want to protect it. So 
<laughs> she has a complete walkthrough of settings. She has another one with the pull, you know, with the fold walkthrough. She has a she has the fold versus the uh, the Pixel 7 Pro speed test. So you're gonna get some of that. She's gonna has the fold with the gaming action going on there. So um, yeah, she has the Pixel Fold versus the Z Fold 3. And for those of you who don't know, the Z Fold 5 is actually going to be announced uh, in like two days. I believe it's on the 26th it's going to be announced. So we're going to have a new Z Fold uh, from Samsung coming out. We'll have to see what that's, going to, what that's going to look like. There's a lot of leaks out there showing what it looks like. And it looks like it's going to have pretty much the same sort of form factor where it's going to be sort of a narrow... Um, like a tall, narrow um, sort of screen, but um, but it looks like it, that gap in between here, like this gap right here, is going to be gone. So um, as it is right now, there's sort of a gap that's in between the uh, you know the screen where it doesn't lay super flat, and stuff can get in there. I've had stuff get in there, like dust and lint and stuff get in there, um, but. They're supposed to. They're supposed to be getting rid of that that gap. So we'll see how we'll see how it works. Hopefully, um, you know, it does lay nice and flat to make the phone thinner overall. And hopefully, it will actually uh, be as durable. The screen will be as durable as uh, as the previous screen is. So yeah. All right, y'all. It's been fun. It's been real. Again, check out uh, check out Kaiju Technical's uh, channel there. And uh, if you guys have any other channels out there that you want me to check out, let me know. And, uh, and I'll check them out. Maybe I can do a channel review or something, put you guys up on some other good tech channels that are out there. So, all right, I'm out of this piece. And until next time, I'm Larry with, with uh, Today I Feel Like. And until then, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.